welcome back to XTEM channel. This is Teja Shwini. So today we are going to discuss about 7th grade ICSE syllabus and the topic is unitary method. So what is unitary method? So in the term unitary, the word unit it means single. That means a single quantity. So unitary method is nothing but the method in which the unit quantity is calculated to get the given quantity. That means if the given any question in that first, we will calculate the uh, value of single quantity and to, to get the value of the given quantity. So again in this, there are uh, two kinds of uh, processes where we will solve the question. One is statement manner and another one is arrow method. So statement method is nothing but in uh, this is the general manner where we will solve the number stories by stating the given value. So arrow method is a bit unique one where we will use arrows to solve the solution. And again in unitary method we will come across two variations. One is direct variation, another one is inverse variation. So direct variation is nothing but here if one quantity increases the another quantity will also increase. If one quantity decreases, the other quantity will also get decreased. So here if one increased, the other quantity will also increase. If one get decreased, the other will also get decreased. So let's see an example. With more money, with more money, more articles can be buried. And with greater speed, a larger distance can be covered. That means here, if one increase, the another will also get increased. That means if one quantity get increased, the other will also get increased. And with less number of men, only less work can be done. So here, if number of men decrease, the, uh, the, uh, the amount of work will also get decreased here. But in inverse variation, it's opposite. Like if one quantity get increased, the another quantity will get decreased. If one quantity get decreased, the another will get increased. So here it's opposite. Like with the greater speed, the less time will be taken to cover the distance. So if we increase our speed, the time taken will be less. And with the less number of men, more days are required to complete the work. So here if quantity get increased, the other quantity will get decreased. And if one get decreased, the other will get increased. Now let's solve a solution in the statement method uh, by using the direct variation. I mean the solution is of direct variation. Let's solve a, a solution of which is of direct variation in the statement method. So here uh, the question is length, uh, length of cloth is 15 meters and its cost is rupees 300. And the length of cloth is 10 meters, find its cost. So they have given here 15 meter cloth worth rupees 300. How, what is the cost of 10 meter cloth? Now here we should think that uh, if, if, if the length of cloth is 15, it takes 300. If the length of cloth is 10 meters, then here the answer will be less than 300. As the 10 meter is less than 15, even the price of that will be less than 15. That means if one decrease, the other will also get decrease here. That means this is of direct variation. So let's solve it. So first to find the length of 10 meters, we should find the length of 1 meter. So here to find the uh, cost of 1 meter plot, we need to divide these two numbers that is 300 divided by 15. So again here uh, the items should be written down that means the quantity whatever it might be cloth or whatever that should be written downwards uh, I mean in the denominator and the price of that quantity should be written in the numerator. And for the direct variation we have a sequence here we should first divide and then multiply the solution. So first we need to do the division and then the multiplication. So this is the sequence how we need to do that. Uh, so let's solve this now. 
So three fives are and the three three hundred. So that is three ones and zero as this. So five ones are five twos are ten and zero. So here one meter is equal to rupees twenty. So the cost of one meter cloth is rupees twenty. So now we can easily find the cost of ten meter cloth by multiplying. And remember the sequence. We have completed the division. Now we need to do the multiplication. That is twenty into ten. So twenty into ten is equal to rupees two hundred. So this is the cost of ten meter cloth. This is the cost of ten meter cloth, and this is how we will find the solution in the direct variation by solving the solution in statement process in the statement method by first dividing and then multiplying the solution. Now let's solve another solution in the statement method, and the question is of inverse variation. Now uh, the question is the number of men is fifty, and the number of days are. Three hundred. That means fifteen men take three hundred days to complete a work. Uh, if number of men are ten, how many days will it take? That means if uh, ten members join together to do a work, how many number of days will it take? Now we need to observe here. Uh, here, if fifteen men join together to do a work, it takes three hundred. But for ten men, it takes more than three hundred because if less member, if less members join together to do a work, it takes long period of time to complete a work. But if more members are doing the work, it takes short period of time to complete the work. That means if one quantity decreases, the another will increase. If the number of men decreases, the number of days increases. And if your number of men increases, the number of days decreases. That means this is a question of inverse variation. You should understand that this is a question of inverse variation. Now let's solve. Uh, first, to calculate uh, the number of days for ten men, we should see first one man work. We should see one man work. So first, we should calculate one man work. So to calculate one man work, you need to uh, multiply these two. That is, three hundred into fifteen. You need to multiply three hundred into fifteen because one man should do a lot of work, right? So therefore, you should do repeated addition. That is, multiplication. If you do division, you will get less number of days. So that will become wrong. And the sequence in the inverse variation is. First multiplication and then division. So first we need to multiply the solution and then do the division. So first multiplication. So three hundred into fifteen. That means four thousand five hundred and days. So it takes four thousand five hundred days for one man to complete the work. Now we can easily divide to get the ten man's work. That is. Four thousand five hundred divided by ten, as per this equation. Sorry, as per the sequence. That is, first multiplication. We have done the multiplication here, and next division. That is four thousand by ten. So cancel the zeros. You will get four hundred and fifty days. So this is the final answer. So the four hundred and fifty days is the final answer. So your ten months can do the work in four hundred and fifty days. So this is how we can find the answer for this question of which is of inverse variation, and we have solved this question in the statement manner. So this is all about today's class. So today we have learned about uh, the unitary method and solved the solutions of direct and inverse variation in the statement manner. So the arrow method will be explained in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also please don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you will get notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you.